Hey, welcome back today where we're sharing another two minute teaching. And I wanna share with you actually a story or something that happened recently to us. And a lot of times when we relate things like this, it helps bring out a point. And while the point is serious that we will bring out in just a minute or so, the story is kind of funny. But my wife and I had recently stopped at a place in our local town and uh, we was actually getting gas, um, putting some gas in our vehicle. And of course, this was a busy place and about two, um, two places over from us, we really couldn't see them that well at the time, but we heard these dogs barking. There was like, like three or four in this truck. Well, my wife seen it and said, oh, that's her cousin and we're gonna call him Billy. She said, that's Billy. And I said, yeah. I said, well, what kind of dogs are those? She said, I don't know. She said, pull around and uh, and say something to him. Well, when we pulled around, he was on her side. So he was sitting, actually putting gas in his truck while his dogs was barking, you know. And they were some big old dogs. Which, he's one of the cousin, kind of cousins where, you know, you don't see very often. And uh, But we just ran into him a few days before, actually, um, in a restaurant. So she rolled down the window and she said, I love those dogs. And the man looked up and said, thank you. Well, as soon as we seen him, we knew it wasn't Billy. As soon as I heard the voice, I knew it wasn't Billy. He looked almost identical to Billy. Okay, I mean, goatee, same type build, wore a cap, just like Billy, almost, they would have passed for brothers basically or identical twins almost i mean you really had to look close to see that they was two different people well uh we just went ahead and drove off and and my wife and i we was really getting a good kick out of it while uh actually we said you know well actually the guy would have just thought she was comment complimenting him on his dogs and not you know she didn't mistake him for somebody else but then the, my mind went back to ephesians chapter number five and verse number six and that Bible said, let no man deceive you with vain words. So getting into the seriousness of this, that really gives you an illustration of how easy it is to be mistaken in someone sometimes. Sometimes people might look the part, they might sound the part, uh, they might act the part, but they're not always who you think they are. Be careful today who you're listening to. Be careful who you follow when it comes to the Word of God. They might say a lot of good things, and they might tell you a lot of good things, and they might look the part and act the part, but make sure what they're preaching, make sure what they're teaching is lining up with the Word of God, because Jesus said in the Word to not be deceived, and then hear the Apostle Paul in Ephesians 5, 6, he said, let no man deceive you with vain words. So because of this, he said the wrath of God comes upon people. So today, make sure when you're listening to someone, make sure when you're listening to a preacher, make sure you're listening to a teacher that they are preaching and teaching out of the word of God. And that was just a little illustration of how he was so close to being who we thought he was. But when we really inspected, we seen he wasn't. When we heard his voice, we knew he wasn't. It was an embarrassing situation, but at the same time, it can help us teach a lesson on make sure when it comes to the Word of God, because your eternal soul is at stake. Your eternal salvation is at stake. So make sure who you're following is the right person. Okay, this went a little longer than two minutes, so this won't be a two-minute teaching. This will just be a teaching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, God loves you. God bless you, and we want to catch you on the next video.